today's communication sets out actions on three areas. First, immediate action to protect food security in Ukraine and around the world. Second, short-term actions to maintain food stability in the European Union, to protect our citizens against high food prices and protect our farmers against production costs. And finally, long-term actions to make our food system more sustainable and more resilient in the years to come. Food security, stability and sustainability, that is what today's uh, communication is, 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 uh, is about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in my home country, Poland, uh, that we say our farmers feed us and defend us. It relates to the historical experience when farmers uh, many times uh, was fighting uh, for the freedom of the country. And now, on, on Monday, during the meeting uh, with the Ukrainian uh, Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Roman Leschenko, who virtually participated in the Agri-Fish Council meeting, he said that Ukrainian farmers are fighting at the day and working to provide food at night. Uh, yes, they are now the Ukrainian farmers. They are directly soldiers, and they sometimes die as, 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 as soldiers, like soldiers. That uh, Mr. Leschenko said that two his friends farmers were killed in the fields in south of Ukraine during their war in, in the fields. Uh, like Mr. Taras Job, I also met him, Vice uh, the Deputy Minister of, of Agriculture from Ukraine. He said Russia is taking Ukrainian soil and using it as a weapon. This soil is being used as a weapon against its own people. It's being used as a weapon of starvation against the most vulnerable people uh, in the world. I can say that it's not the first time then, then in Russian imperial policies use this, this method to, to uh, attack the food system, to create uh, hunger and to, to use the method of, the, of aggression. Uh, what is the most important for the Ukraine? We uh, mentioned it in, in the communication, but also this is the uh, uh, subject of the current action. First of all, to deliver fuel for Ukrainian farmers. They need, uh, for the spring sowing campaign, they need uh, uh, 50,000 tons uh, of fuel per week. And uh, the, their uh, need is about the, between 200 and uh, 350,000 tons of fuel directly for agriculture. And we uh, are organizing this to deliver this fuel for Ukraine. Uh, I have a contact with uh, Polish uh, government, with Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. I'd like to thank him for, for excellent cooperation. The Poland is ready to deliver this, this uh, fuel for Ukrainian farmers. Uh, logistically, it's the, 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 the best way to, 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 to deliver it. The Polish State Reserve Agency is able to deliver it. But the European Union is ready to finance this, this operation. And uh, this is very important for the next harvest. Ukrainian farmers under bombs, they, they are ready to work, as I said before, like soldiers, and we, our obligation is to support them for food security in Ukraine, for food security in Europe, for, for food security in the whole world. Ukraine is a very important food producer, food exporter, uh, very important. Uh, the import of the food products uh, from Ukraine is very important for European Union. 52% of maize imported to the uh, European Union is imported from Ukraine. The 19% of wheat, 23% of oil seeds. It shows that how, how important this is, the, the production, uh, agricultural production in Ukraine, also for, for European Union. But we know that Mr. Dombrowski said that uh, Middle East, the North Africa, which depends very much from the uh, uh, import of food from, from Ukraine. 
The other issue is that also um, I'd like to say a few words to, to add something that uh, the question of export of Ukrainian food. There was like fake news, I think, that Ukraine wants to stop the export of their food. No, they are interested to, to continue export. But the problem is that the seaport in Black Sea, they are fully blocked by the Russian aggressors. And also we need to, we, we have to support the, the export of Ukrainian food. Also, this is the important role of Poland because there is uh, uh, the best lo logistic possibility to transport across the Poland to the Baltic Sea ports, Gdańsk, Gdynia. It's, we uh, are organizing also support the, the, for, for the Ukraine to organize this, this export. This is about the, the Ukraine, but uh, no, we have the new situation for the food security in European Union. We used to be sure to, 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 to about the food security thanks to our farmers, thanks to common agricultural policy, which is effective policy. But now we need to think more about the food security. Food security, now there is also the security policy like defense policy, like energy policy, the, the importance of the food policy now is much, much higher in, in, than, than in the past. And uh, now we need to uh, make the concrete action in the reaction for, for in this situation. The, we present in the communication this four maybe five because this one is additional. The, the measures, uh, I can repeat, that's what uh, Mr. Dombrowski said. The, maybe the most important is uh, we uh, open the possibility to use the agricultural land which was excluded uh, from the production because of, of um, uh, uh, greening obligations which we have in the common agriculture policy. This is about the four million hectares the area of the ecological focus area, uh, uh, fallow, uh, fallow land that's uh, set aside. Uh, this land can be used for the, for the agricultural production, for the food and feed production. Four million hectares, this is the area compared to the whole uh, territory of the Netherlands or compared to the farmland uh, in Czech Republic. And this is very important for, uh, to, for additional production of food, which is absolutely necessary now in this, in, this, uh, in this specific situation. The next important measure is uh, crisis reserve. That This is 500 million euro, which we have the reserve in the common agricultural policy budget. It can be co-financed by member states, and uh, finally, this is for, for the farmer's disposal, will be the quota uh, 1.5 billion euro. Uh, the member states will decide for who farm, whose farmers, for which sector they, they, uh, they uh, address this, this, this uh, support. Uh, Temporary uh, state, uh, uh, state aid, this is also very important, 35,000 per, per one individual farm. The, it was also ex expected by, the, by our farmers in this situation. It's absolutely necessary to allow for member states for this state aid. And uh, this is a, a sectoral uh, problem in pigmeat sector that long time uh, there was a crisis situation, the farmers received uh, a price less than production costs and we need to especially support the sector by the instrument which is well known in the common agricultural policy, which is the private storage and we also opened the possibility for, for private storage. The fifth instrument is the advance payment used in the past and also we uh, prepare that, that, that um, solution that farmers can receive that direct payment in October before the, the uh, for the next year earlier. But for the for the long term food security, because this, they, they are measures for the short term to, to, to strengthen the food security in the in the short term. 
but in the in the long term no we need co to continue this this direction of uh, of uh, um, reform of our agriculture which is uh, this described in the farm to fork strategy and biodiversity strategy That's farm to fork strategy is also strategy to ensure food security there's some uh, eco schemes which we have in in uh, uh, which are included into the national strategic plans, eco schemes like like uh, carbon farming, like uh, animal welfare, precision agriculture, and other um, envir environmentally friendly practices. They are also good practices for the for the productivity of agriculture, and this direction will be continued in in a uh, long term. Support for small farmers. They are very important in the f food security system, especially with the experience when Mr. Leschenko said that uh, in Ukraine they have also the, the uh, part of their agriculture is um, kind, kind of industrial poultry farms. These farms were attacked, were destroyed with uh, very tragic consequences also for environment, for, for, for sanitary uh, situation. That it shows that how important is diversification of the production, to, have the, to, to, to maintain production in, um, in a num number of small farms, medium-sized farms. This is, this is uh, very important. But uh, in communication, this is, we declare that this, this uh, direction to strengthen sustainability of agriculture production, to strengthen of resilience of agriculture production, to make our agriculture less dependent from the, uh, for example, from the fertilizers use, more use the natural fertilizers, the manure. This is very important for, for future of, uh, agri uh, for, to strengthen food security in the long-term perspective. But, uh, the, the most important is the, the measures which, uh, which we decided uh, today to allow the farmers, first of all, this, this derogation of the non-productive areas and this 4 million hectares possibility for additional production. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commissioner.